Hi everybody, Mike Brown back with you with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. We've discussed how layers work, we've discussed how the layer panel works, I've shown you adjustment layers, we've talked about layer masks, all of this to allow you to isolate additional areas and add and subtract non-destructive editing to improve your photographs. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we use layers to create photo composites. Now, a Photoshop composite can be actually a couple of things. If you have, let's say you see ads all the time in newspapers, magazines, on television, on the internet, where someone is taking several elements, they could be photographs, type, graphics, and put them together to make an advertisement or something that's pleasing, or even a work of art, but obviously it's a combination of multiple elements. A true photo composite is two or more elements put together to make a finished product that looks exactly like it was only one photo and you can't tell that it was done. Let me give you an example to start with. Um, here's one that you've seen before. We'll consolidate this to tabs. Here's a picture I took of some friends of mine. Um, the original photo was this shot right here, and you can see it's a nice photo, but it certainly has, doesn't have the pop and depth of this shot right here. This is where you have to have mental visualization, or as I call it, seeing digitally. The more you do this, the more you will understand it. You need to make sure, when you're making a composite, that size, lighting, perspective, and color match are all correct, otherwise it will be a giveaway that it's not. Now in this case, the lighting and everything is from the right, and if you look at the clouds, you can see the right-sided tops of the clouds are brighter than the lower left. So the clouds themselves are lit by the sun from the upper right just the same way that this image was. If I had had a picture of clouds that was lit the other way, all I would have to do is flip it. But it would have been a giveaway if the lighting is different. In this case, let's show you how good it looks. We zoom it all the way up, and look, even the stubble of his beard and the fine hairs under here, the refine edge dialog box took care of so that we can see, look at this, we see right through the hair on his head, the hairs on her head, even the little fine hairs were picked up by the refine edge, and you can't tell, even under that intense magnification, that this is not one photograph. But by using a photo composite with another background, we improved our image dramatically. That's what you can do with a photo composite. All right. So the thing is, Again, you have to do con size, lighting, perspective, and color match. And let me describe that. Here is 